Hello, my name is Maria and I'm the founder and RN of Celtic Angels Home Healthcare Agency. Um, when I'm out and about visiting my patients, I get so many questions about hospice and palliative care. And um, for caregivers that are out there taking care of their loved ones by themselves and really can't afford the um, support of a, a home care agency to provide caregivers, um, I would just like to review some of the questions that I get asked in the hopes that it can help you on your caregiving journey. So I have a little checklist about um, questions that perhaps you can ask yourself. Maybe this can clarify whether hospice, it, it's time for hospice for your loved one. And I would also like to add that it is totally covered by your, um, it's 100% covered by Medicare and in some instances most Medicaid programs would cover it and there's also some insurance plans for eligible patients that will cover it. I just would like to answer the first question that I get asked all the time. Um, people have such a negative connotation about what does hospice mean and really all it means is that you can take care of your loved one wherever they decide that they would like to pass. It really does improve the quality of their life because now they don't have to go to the hospital anymore. Which brings me to my first question that you as the caregiver should ask yourself. Um, how many times have you been to the hospital or the emergency room in the past six months or even in the past three months? Um, have you noticed that you've been calling your spouse's physician a lot more than you normally would be calling? Have you noticed that your loved one is uncomfortable and is in physical pain? Um, have you noticed that your loved one perhaps does not have the energy that they had before and now they're spending more time in bed or perhaps you um, are just helping them from the bed to the chair and from the chair back to the bed. Has your loved one fallen perhaps? Increased number of falls in the, pl in the past few weeks. Started needing more help and support around the activities of daily living like bathing, um, oral care, dressing, um, getting out of, of their bed. Um, they're complaining more, they're feeling weaker, they're feeling tired, they're experiencing weight loss. So you just notice that perhaps, you know, the rings aren't fitting, they're falling off their fingers, or you just notice that their clothes have gotten really loose. Are they experiencing shortness of breath when, when they're out walking around? Have you received news perhaps from your doctor that perhaps your spouse's life expectancy has been shortened? So this would be a good way to start and, and perhaps pick up the phone, call a hospice agency and if you call your senior centre, they normally would have some good recommendations or your home health care agency. Um, a lot of people think that once their loved one starts hospice, that that's it. Um, but I'm here to tell you, we've had patients on hospice for two years and it's, it, we're also thrilled when for whatever reason a miracle has occurred then they don't need hospice anymore, they don't need personal caregivers anymore and um, they go back to their normal life. Uh, I, I think a lot of people don't realise that. And another thing that a lot of people don't realise about hospice is that they provide a wide range of services but they do not provide the 24 seven care. So that's where you're going to need a, home, a private home health care agency to come in and set up the, the hospice care team that's gonna take care of your loved one 24 seven. As an RN myself, I would like to share that I just feel it's an honor and a privilege to be able to be, provide comfort and care to the patient and also to their families because this can be such a traumatic time for the family. Um, the added supports just make such a big difference for everybody concerned and um, we truly, truly feel that hospice care and providing that comfort care at home is such a privilege.
to all of our Celtic Angels team. We hope this video has helped you on your caregiving journey and God bless. Thank you.